Welcome back to Scholastically Natly, where we talk about books, writing, D&D, &D, and sometimes other things. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is kind of scratchy. I have probably been burning the candle in my room for too long. But it is apple orchard flavored, so it smells lovely. Um, today we are doing a The Woodland Magic Inktober Prompts by Small Town Spells on number 8, Crystals. Um, and on screen, you will see my small sketch that has to do with it. Uh, you have returned to the desk of someone who's been obsessively playing Animal Crossing for the past month? Is it a month? <laughs> uh, so if you've been doing that, uh, hit me up. I've been having way too much fun with it. I'll send you the crops that I have, okay? <laughs> Additionally, I recently bought some Christmas socks from Marshalls, and they're sharks wearing Santa hats, so really, what could be better? Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm like, weirdly awake, but not awake at the same time. <sighs> Anyways, I've been spending way too much money at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They continue to have great things there that are just at good prices, and I'm just like... I don't know if I need that, but I'd really like it. <laughs> so, if we are looking at crystals, the next question is, how, what do I want to do with this image? Because I know that I literally just drew uh, the rocks that I like to collect. I have added to my rock collection recently because <sighs> the wonderful person I buy off of Facebook, she had a bunch of updates to her stock and I just, I couldn't resist. That's a running theme with me. So. Let's see. The crystals appeared pretty innocuous. Do I remember how to spell that? Ooh, good job me. At first glance. Matt. First glance. Matt, more unpolished than most. Almost passing for useless trinkets you could find on the road. The only thing that gave them away was their unusual shape. How had such purposefully rendered stones lack? Not how had, how could. The only answer available was the simplest. Their shine had worn away with age. The passing of time had rendered once smooth surfaces rough and unruly their previously pristine corners now jagged Jacket and <sighs> I want to say rough again, but we've already said that this sentence. Uh, now jagged. And prone to snagging. They had yet to sell. 
customers were more attracted to the pretty stones. Those with unworn edges and glistening sweet tones rather than the aged world weary crystals that almost seemed to glower from her counter. Much like tarot cards, the older magical tools got the more personality they displayed. Wands were perhaps the only things that played their cards from the start. Ugh, okay, I need to go blow up my candle, guys, one sec. There we go. I bought some candles when Bath and Body Works had a sale. Even though I already bought candles recently, so now I obviously need to burn through mine faster. Uh, but I can't let them burn for too long or else I tend to start coughing a lot. <laughs> I can feel that starting to creep up on me. I already corrected this. Oh. Even baby witches knew better than to approach the crystals next to the register. They already knew who they wanted, though not by name. Oh, I am making a lot of mistakes today, aren't I? By name, or by appearance, or when they would appear. Just that this person would, and that they would be a perfect match. Everyone else was worthless. The crystals knew that. And they emanated an unmistakable power and disdain that fended off even the least sensitive customers. some of the censors she would have to send some sort of coupon to as once they entered the door they turned pale and left immediately some of the very unlucky were sick in the alleyway to the left. She had more than once tried to get the stubborn things to wait elsewhere. 
or at least not drive away. Oh, customers. But they... But once they found their position on the counter, it was impossible to move them. She could only hope and wish that their chosen would pass through soon. She really didn't want the backlash that trying to smash such ancient artifacts would no doubt bring her. But if they kept being a nuisance. She might be willing to suffer the consequences. During one of these times, where she muttered such things to her stupid rocks on the counter. They had just made poor Jamil. Is that how you say that? I want to say that is. Well, I, that's not, we're not typing in French, buddy. <sighs> Sick for the second time this week. She was the only shop that carried the bark they needed for their potions. Her door clattered open. She called her usual greeting still glaring at her pompous and arrogant crystals muttering under her breath at them as she peered up it was a new sorcerer one that she hadn't seen in town, nor that had entered her shop before. Now that she thought about it, Priscilla had mentioned someone new in town. But she wasn't expecting them to be this interesting right off the bat. Their long elbow length hair was dyed in a cascade of black with pink, purple, and blue highlights to form a galaxy. Covered with dots of white for stars. An expressionless
ghostly pale face with bright red eyes peered back at her. They wore an oversized robe. A simple gray weave dotted with stars picked out in painstaking stitches of white and silver. From the sloping shoulders emerged a deep purple tunic shirt, the high neck crinkling at the top, crinkling around the stranger's pale column. The robe was buttoned shut, oversized, glinting round buttons, painted to match their hair, lighting showed the care the stranger took with their appearance. Peeking out from the hem of their robe were overly pointed boots. Dark leather with steel toes stamped with stars. They were unlike anything she had ever seen. The crystals had gone quiet for the first time since they had entered her store. Perhaps they too were struck by this stranger. Or perhaps they had found their chosen. Okay, um, that was way too much fun designing that strange character. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, I've been trying to experiment a bit more with character design. Um, now that I'm doing weird. Uh, mysterious universes and D&D &D characters I can make people look as strange as I'd like them to and I'm kind of embracing that <laughs> um, anyways I think that's about the natural conclusion of this short little blurb I hope you enjoyed it if you too would like to write a response to this prompt you can do so in comments or sketch along to this prompt and tag me on Twitter or not to tell me anything or just tell me how your holiday was. Or if you too are incapable of stopping 
yourself from spending money on Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I love them, but they know my weaknesses. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope you will have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video, or at least found it mildly relaxing. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed my brief spurt of extra video yesterday. Or was it? Well, technically I released it today, so that was today. And I will stop blabbing now, and I will see you guys in the next one. Scholastically Natalie is out.